Hey viewers, you are watching my first C Sharp tutorial brought to you by Zalagai Studios. In this tutorial, I'll be, and the ones following this tutorial, I will be going over C Sharp. It's the new, it's the newest and latest Microsoft coding engine. Well, coding language, but there's an engine we'll be using to code it. The engine that we, the IDE is what they call it. We will be using is Visual C Sharp 2008 Express Edition, made by Microsoft. It's a wonderful program you use, and it puts in some of the basis code for you, and all you have to do is put in extra code that does defines what you want the program to do. It's very easy once you get used to it. Click download, download that. I'll be putting in the link in my description on my video on YouTube. Now, let's get started. This is what we will be making in this tutorial. We'll be making a small form with four buttons and in each button there will be some code that outputs something for us. And it, we're ju we'll just be going over the basis math and uh, if uh, if else code such, such as that. And then in later tutorials, since you'll know how to do this and I'll have already showed you, you'll understand the cooler stuff we'll be doing. This is a beginner tutorial. You need to watch this tutorial if you want to do anything cool in the uh, in C sharp. So I've made this new thing, this new project. Just go to new project. Uh, I'll be disc I'll just discard it and create a Windows form application. We're going to be calling it um, Chapter One Program One. Okay. Make that smaller and go over here to the toolbox. If the toolbox isn't showing, go to View and then toolbox just click that and let's see we need to add in four buttons okay just line those up however you like it the ID has a cool line system that lines it up for you you don't have to do anything I don't like pe people being able to resize my window so I'm gonna go over here to the properties tab it's that if that's not showing go to view and then do uh, properties window I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll up to maximum size and I'm going to take the size, which is right here, I'm going to take the size and control C, which is cop, uh, copy it, I'm going to go to maximum size, and just control V it, which is control paste, I mean paste, and there, now it can't be resized or anything and that makes it more professional. If you want, you can rename these buttons to anything you want by just clicking on them and going to the properties and changing the text option, not the name option, the text option, to anything you want. Okay, double click on this button, and it, the first button, and it takes you to the code, ver the code version of this form. This is the design, this is the code, and it takes you right into the code for that button. This is automatically generated by the IDE. It generates it for you. That means that whenever you click this button, then this will happen. And I'm going to put in some code on what's going to happen. First, we're going to declare a string. A string is a string of letters. Whenever you declare something, you just type out string, or there's other things you can declare, such as int, which is an integer, which is a solid number, decimal, which is a decimal number, double, which I will go over later, kind of hard to explain but we'll just be using string right now and the string we'll call it name so you do string name so that declares that it is called name and then name is equal to and then we'll just put Chris so that's the name we'll be using that's that's what name is equal to Chris and you have to put it in uh, quotations because whenever you uh, Whenever you're uh, declaring a string, you put it in quotations to say that it's just text. Uh, and the semicolon goes after everything you put in, except for if else stuff. I'll go over that later. Just put in semicolons. Um, um, now we'll be declaring an int value. We'll call the int x. We're declaring that there's an int called x, and we'll make set it equal to 3. And now we're going to say x is equal to x times 17. And me, you may be thinking, well, wait a minute, you just said x is equal to 3. But now I'm saying that x 
is x times 17. So whenever you click on this button, it says x is 3, and then it says directly afterwards, x is x times 17. So it equals out to 51, yeah. Okay. And now we're going to create a double. I'll go over doubles more later, but basically it's just a, a type of what something that you declare whenever you're using math, a math uh, class. You just uh, we'll call the double d, and then put in math dot, and there's a diff a lot of different properties you can use for math, cosine, and it, it's all stuff that you take in geom and you, you learn in geometry, trigonometry. You don't have to learn it right now. You'll probably learn it in high school. Um, we'll be using pi, which is a ratio you use whenever you're trying to find out a circumference or a diameter in a circle. You, you learn it all in geometry. You, you should know by now if you're watching this tutorial. If not, then just ignore all the math stuff. You may not need it later anyways. But anyways, I'm creating a, a, D, uh, I'm creating a double dec declaration called D, and it's equal to math, uh, it's equal to pi divided by 2. You have to put in math. Don't ask why. That's just uh, the class, because you're declaring that it's pi. Anyways, now we're going to put in a message box. What a message box is, what a message box is, is a, is a box that pops up and it shows you a message in it. It's what it says it is. Um, so we'll just do message box dot show, and then if you would, if you want a message box to pop up and tell you something, you can just say hello, and then it just pops up a message and it says hello. So that's what a message box is. But in this one, we'll be saying name, which is up here, equals, and then give it a space. And then over here we're gonna do plus because that's you're adding a you're adding a sequence to it, and then we're gonna do name, and see it recognizes that as a string. So then, okay, that uh, so the message box will show name equals, and then it'll give us the value of name, which is Chris. Now we're gonna do message box, and also there's something called snippets which is where you type in little things and you just uh, press tab and it puts in it all for you. So I just put in MB, which is MBOX, and then you do tab tab and it automatically creates it for you. And now, let's put in, oh by the way, it has to be in quotations if you're creating text. Um, well, now we'll do X is equal to, and now let's put plus X. And it recognizes that as an int. Now let's put in another message box. And now let's do d equals space. And then we'll add in d. Okay, so that's that's all the first button button does. I'm just explaining some basic stuff such as a message box and declaring things. This, just ignore the math.py. I'm just using that as a as a explanation. I mean, uh, you get the idea. Okay, so we run our form, and uh, in order to run, to test your form, what you're creating so far, click this green arrow. That's that's to debug it. Okay, so we click button one. Automatically, this message box pops up and says, name equals Chris. When you click OK, it says x equals to 51. And then it says d equals this. Okay. Now, let's close out of that. And now we're going to go back to form CS design. And now we're going to click on button 2. Okay. Let's get ready to put in button 2 code. 